What's up, y'all? This is the Timber Slashers 372 Holt Forma. This is his 50 millimeter build. This was his old saw he'd had. This is the one that's been giving me fits. Well, I think I got it. The, uh, the seals checked out. This one, uh, the flywheel side seal was was leaking between the case and the seal of some enough to kill the engine when you sprayed it with brake clean well i got that sealed up but it's still active punch so i checked around the boot and the boot was leaking really bad now i've run into this a couple times now this is the second one uh, my blue saw, Papa, Papa Smurf, had the same problem. And I put an OEM boot on it, fixed it. And I had a boot over there, another OEM boot, brand new, that I was going to put on another saw. And uh, after I seen how bad this one was leaking, uh, I threw the OEM boot on the saw. I just tested it, everything seems fine now. It comes back to idle, I don't do nothing erratic. Uh, of course, I'm gonna run it some more before it goes back to North Carolina, but uh, I think this may have fixed it. <laughs> this is a strong, strong 50 millimeter saw. It's still got the original cylinder on it, it came on it, piston, and I put a, I put a new caber ring in it. It's got a single ring piston. Wow, this thing is this thing is, runs good. This thing runs like a big bore, <laughs> a good running big bore, not just any big bore. This runs like a good running big bore. But uh, fingers crossed. I think I think this is it's a done deal now. These alien boots are expensive, but you can just. When you feel them compared to a Chinese one, they're made out of different material. They're just a, they're just a lot better made stuff. This is facts. Most of the time, I can get I can get by fine with the with the Chinese ones. Now I bought a like a bulk package of boots for 372s. Um, I found out a big problem with those is like the little metal ring that goes inside the boot the recess in the Chinese boots that I bought is not deep enough for that ring to go in all the way and, and, and lay flush so what I've been doing is just actually sanding the back of that ring down so it fit the recess in the boots well, I did that with this one on the Chinese boot they still wouldn't still wouldn't seal I thinned out the, the throttle cable uh, bracket so more rubber would be exposed. Still wouldn't seal. Hell, I don't know. It's just Chinese problems. But uh, it's got an OEM boot on it now. 40 freaking bucks.
like it's supposed to. Looks like I'll run. I'll probably at least put another tank through it. Get up somewhere and work it real hard one day. I'm trying to rain and stuff now though, so it kind of messes things up. I'm gonna have to go up the hall and get some more, some more of these smaller test logs. If it wasn't rainy, I'd go, I'd take it out somewhere or something else. But as soon as I get loaded up, it'd rain. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care.